on the show, two giants of comedy, a pixie of pop, and a queen of Hollywood cool. Here's a clue. <laughs> You've still no idea, have you? And that's our show! <laughs> We all know the story everyone's talking about. Yeah, who are you going to vote for? I'll tell you, it's too close to call. Let's have a look at the candidates. Yes. <laughs> One of these could be Dorothy. <laughs> Enough satire. We've got a great show for you tonight. Uh, my first guest is the co creator of The Office and Extras, Stephen Merchant, is here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Never had him before. Uh, now, obviously, Stephen is known for his many collaborations with Ricky Gervais, but tonight he's on the show as a star in his own right. Uh, also on the show is the hilarious Ricky Gervais. <laughs> and uh, and uh, here they are together. Now. <laughs> They're not a likely couple, are they? They're some of the most surprising showbiz couples since Simon Cowell got engaged. <laughs> no. Did anyone see Simon Cowell trying to kiss his fiance on television? Did you see that? Have you seen this picture? <laughs> <laughs> really, Simon, I could kiss a woman better than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the two of them. Oh, both so in love with the same person. <laughs> Stephen Merchant, Stephen Merchant, ladies and gentlemen, did you know he's actually become uh, quite a surprise sex symbol? Yeah. He was recently asked to do a naked centerfold for Cosmopolitan. Mm. Would you like to see it, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Here it is. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the fold out. Yeah. That is. <laughs> Ricky and Stephen are here to talk about their uh, new film, Cemetery Junction. It's uh, set back in the 70s. <laughs> the 70s. What a different time that was. Economic recession, Doctor Who on the telly. Gary Glitter couldn't go anywhere without a police escort. <laughs> <laughs> so different. <laughs> <laughs> We're also joined by one of my favourite people, the gorgeous, talented Hollywood star of films such as The Opposite of Sex, Mermaids and Ice Storm, Christina Ricci is here! <laughs> mm. Christina became a child star in The Addams Family. Uh, there they all are. Ooh, scary bunch, aren't they? Fester, Lurch, Morticia. Remember Uncle Fester? Remember Uncle Fester? Yeah. Oh, I tell you, when I was growing up in Ireland, I don't think there was anyone scarier. Oh, wait, yes, there was. <laughs> uh, now, Christina also starred in The Opposite of Sex. <sighs> Hello. Uh, I always wondered, though, what is the opposite of sex? Hello. <laughs> also on the show, the brilliant Brit-nominated pop actress Pixie Lott, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but let's get some guests on. First, you find a comic genius. It's Stephen Merchant. <laughs> Hello, sir. Quite a, it's quite a height differential on the sofa tonight. <laughs> Actually, 
actually. Do, I know you've just sat down. Could you all stand up again? Oh, look. No, no wait, there's one take one second. Well, I want people to know that we're the normal ones and he's the freak. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's just stand up for a second. Stand up for a second. Oh. Okay. Uh, see? <laughs> look at that. Have a good night at the prom, kids. <laughs> What does this remind us of? Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's uncanny, isn't it? You can sit down, sorry. You can sit down, sorry. Now, uh, Christina Ricci, yes. uh, you, you have had this extraordinary, because obviously a child star, but then it, it's kept going. You've done kind of cool indie films, you're doing big blockbusters, and now you're being bedded by uh, Robert Pattinson in a movie. Yes, in the movie. Yes. <laughs> mm. You know, Rob Pat's a Twilight man. Oh, Jesus, they're intelligent people. <laughs> He's the most famous man on the planet at the moment. Of course they've heard you of him. You know who that is. <laughs> you don't, do you? <laughs> See, he has no idea, that man. Uh... <laughs> uh, no, we have a picture. There he is. Actually, yeah, he is. There he is. Is he actually that gorgeous? He actually is. That's annoying, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. He really is. And he's got great skin and it annoys me every day. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like trying to film with... Are there just thousands of screaming girls the whole time? They've been pretty good about um, keeping the, the, the amount of women to a minimum, but they're, they're usually about 20 around base camp and stuff. Oh, I know what that's like. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> now, uh, reading about you, because a lot of child actors, and, <laughs> and this question now becomes slightly misleading. <laughs> a lot of child Go on. I was going to say, a lot of child <laughs> actors... This show could get weird. Go no, on. No, no. <laughs> a lot of child actors go a bit nuts. <laughs> <laughs> well, you seem like... Before you became a child actor, that's when you were wildest. I was a bit, yeah. Like, the acting kind of tamed you. Yes, it did. Can you weren't eight. What do you mean you were <laughs> what, a wild... No, what were you well, doing at eight? Well, the, the way I got my first job is I provoked oh. the lead in the school play to beat me up so that I could then go and be like, Nikki beat me up, and then... How they... did you provoke Nikki into beating you up? What did you do? Apparently, I was just... Super manipulative as a child. <laughs> um, so I got him to beat me up, uh -huh. and then I went to the director, and I was like, "Nikki, beat me up. Look at my face." And um, he got fired, and I got the part. Isn't that great? <laughs> really? No, actually, I was six. Six. Oh, that makes it fun. But isn't that? But I, I love haven't it. Done anything bad like that since? No, no, but I love the drive of it. I'd like that part. Mm. How can I get it? Mm. It's so. <laughs> yeah, it's very sort of. Desperate housewives or something. Yeah. Yeah, or like Melrose Place. And when you then became a child actor, and, and you know, you know, you were an incredibly famous child actor, um, but yet it seems like you still managed to kind of have this ordinary school life. Yes, I did. I was only allowed to make one movie a year, and I um, then I had to go to school the rest of the time. Same as when I was good at school. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. You can make one movie a year. <laughs> watch, watch one movie. Not a <laughs> Uh, now, now, the proof of your ordinary childhood can be found in the my pages boy. of Glenfield. Oh, no. What's this? Oh my God! Is why this a you do this to me? <laughs> well, you look exactly the same. But oh! I'll show, I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you. I, I think that's all right, isn't it? What's oh, that? Oh no! What's that? What's that? What's that? I look like a turtle. <laughs> You know what's really terrible is that you got to pick a quote, and me and my best friend Jackie Geller, you got that right. I have said the Jackie quotes. Geller's got the end of that the quote. The quotes are funny. So what's I'll Geller been up to? Okay, so you are, uh, should I watch? Should I show the picture? Oh, it's just so embarrassing. But just remember, <laughs> everybody was a geek once. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> There are these little quotes. There's this boy here, Douglas. Oh. And, no, nice Douglas. He's got Jude is the Messiah, God is here. And then Whoa, down here, intense. we've got Aaron with. I knew Aaron very I am well. the space master. <laughs> <laughs> and Aaron, Aaron was a bit, a, bit, a bit spacey. I sat next to him on the bus for about, oh, 10 years or something. He was the space monster. It's true. <laughs> but then, Christina, who I think is. <laughs> we, were, we were funky. It, no, what did you, what have you come see, with? She's oh. not like a turtle, but she, she looks beautiful. But like you went with joy and pain. <laughs> it's, it's 
it's all, it's, it's, it's the stu it's, you know what it is. Wait, no, why'd you go on? Wait till you get to Jackie Gellers. Yeah, you have to, it says C. Are you uh, on drugs? JG. <laughs> no, look at Jackie Gellers' picture. What's Jackie Gellers? See, Keller? Jackie Gellers, her, and her says, sunshine and rain. Oh, yeah, remember that song? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I was a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Geller and I were losers, and, you know, that just happens. Oh. Yeah. Sometimes. What chat shows Geller on today, though? <laughs> nice one. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. And also... <laughs> do you ever see any of these people? No. OK. <laughs> I'll put it away. Yeah. Um, and now... You've done all sorts of films, as I say. You've done kind of the indie films, you've done uh, dark films, kid films. But you've also done some action movie. You did Speed Racer. Mm -hmm. Well, the reason I want to talk about it is because <laughs> your co-star in the film uh, was a chimpanzee. Yes, <laughs> yes, there was a monkey in it. Look! Oh. You see, now you're oh, interested. Now I'm interested. Yeah. <laughs> a monkey in a suit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, lovely. Um, but not the friendliest of monkeys. No, well, I mean, I was on set and I was telling everybody, I was like, just be careful with the monkey and the kid next to the monkey. And, but it's a whole new, it's like my first day on this big movie, big cast, everyone's sitting around a breakfast table. Of course, they put the one person who doesn't like the monkey right next to the monkey. And then, just for laughs, take one, first shot, they decide to simulate an earthquake. So the whole thing's shaking. And the monkey leapt over to me, grabbed my left breast, and <laughs> hung off of it. <laughs> Hanging, and I didn't want it to tear it off. So I, I kind of leant forward. And here's where the, the training kicks in. I also didn't want to ruin the take. So <laughs> I just leant over and kind of quietly went, help. <laughs> Um, help, help. Like, quietly, because I also didn't want to scare the monkey further. No. And finally, they, they all kind of looked around and looked at me and then looked down and saw the monkey hanging off my boob. And uh, it called cut. And then I had a little monkey handprint on my boob. I'm not kidding. Monkey, full monkey handprint for like a month. That's hard to explain, isn't it, if you have to take your clothes off? And people were coming over to make sure I didn't need any, you know, salve okay. for a little while. Uh, you... <laughs> How did that monkey get the role? Did it, like, beat itself up? And then... <laughs> <laughs> Toby McGuire has been laying into me. <laughs> The other thing about that movie, Speed Racer, and we were very excited uh, because uh, they taught you, it was the Matrix people, they yes. taught you how to do uh, exciting action stunts. Yes, they did. That you could, you could do a cartwheel and pick up a gun at the same time. Yep. And in chat show style, I was going to encourage Christina to do a cartwheel and pick up a gun. You're excited about that, aren't you? <laughs> Is she? <laughs> Apparently, no, she won't. But there's a, there is a good reason why you can't. Oh, okay. It's just... Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a Victorian movie right now. It's, it takes place in, I don't know, 1890s something. And I have to do nudity in it. And apparently, at that time, there was no armpit hair shaving. So, can't raise my hands above my head. <laughs> How long has it been growing now? Since January 16th. Whoa! <laughs> Did it Bo Derek style and tucked it in or something? Yeah. You've, got a, you've got a sleeve on. I know, but still. It pops out. If I was raised my Can you, Can't you train it like a like Ivy to go <laughs> to sort of go down the dress like long? I could slick it down. Slick it well, or just train it. Just train it. Like it would be like a kind of like a vest, like a waistcoat of hair. Yeah. <laughs> and then one lady is often. Off do you know what I mean? If yeah. like you'd be choosy. <laughs> Cute. When's the big day? When's the big day when you can kindly get Not rid of it? Not until the very end of the shoot. My, my la like the last week But hold week on, of though. Shoot. Why can they just give you a little underarm wig? <laughs> <laughs> what is this thing when we're watching a Victorian film and going, where's the underarm hair? <laughs> Boo! Let's <laughs> some underarm hair. If you see CGI, you can walk around like a normal person. They can put big tufts of hair <laughs> on you. <laughs> Why are you growing your underarm hair to be in a, a Victorian film? I've never thought of that. I've never I seen, never thought about I've, either. I've, 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 also, so okay. they didn't show their underarm hair. Oh, it's a nude scene. Nude scene. Yeah, good point. Yeah, that's a, yeah. <laughs> Got you there. Yeah. 